Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a short video to share with you guys on some sparkling things that I do add to my pages because I know I have gotten a few questions from you guys over on Instagram. So I am going to be sharing those with you today and I do have some example pages to share with you. And let me grab one more thing that is needed for this video. Okay, so I did grab that, and we are going to go ahead and get started with this. So, I'm going to slide all of these out of the way, and the first two things, this one that I tried to explain to you guys the other day, this is what I use on most of my background pages. I cannot find this one anywhere. I can't find it on Amazon. I can't find it at Walmart. I can't find it basically anywhere. But this is the Folk Art Trusted Quality Extreme Glitter in its hologram. It's called Superior Coverage Glitter Finish Acrylic Paint. And these, this one is the Dragonfly Glaze. It looks like that. And one of my wonderful friends sent this to me, so if you're watching this video, thank you very much. She also sent me three different colors, and I don't know where the other, th other two are right now, so we're just going to go with this one. Um, this one is a red-violet shift. They're very pretty, and I will go ahead and share with you an example of a page I completed with it on it. This is from the book Small Victories. This is the page that I put the Dragonfly Glaze on. The holographic is almost kind of similar to it. And it's one of my favorites. I don't know if you can see the shimmer or the shine in the video, but yeah. It's very pretty. Absolutely love it. And the next thing that I have is stickles. This is what I add to some of my pages. This one right here ran out and I just created my own color of stickles which is kind of like a pinkish tone with hollow um with like different glitter glues mixed in with it and different shades and colors of it and it still glistens and shines very nice and pretty. And this one is called the Silver by Stickles. And I will show you that same page again. And this is the one that I use the stickles on. I absolutely love it. It makes it super shiny. Okay, so the next thing I have is glitter. I have two different types. They are chunky glitter. This is a more fine coarse glitter, but this one is chunky right here. And yes, I do use these on my pages. And I will show you how I use those on my pages. I also have a glue pen. These come in handy for when you want to add small details of glitter to your page instead of stickles. So I would recommend one of these if you want to add like regular glitter. And I will go ahead and share with you the page that I added the glitter to. If this is the right book. Um, I hope it's the right book. Because I don't really know where I put it. Or at least I don't think I marked this one. Let's see. I know it was done in one of my Hannah books, but I don't remember which one it was done in. Pretty sure it's the other one. Nope. Yeah, it's the other book. Let me grab it real quick and I'll share it with you. Okay, correct book. Okay, 
Here is the page that I added the loose glitter to, just at the bottom on her outfit where it has a lot of details, makes it very pretty. And I absolutely love the way it turned out, so. There is that. And the next thing that I add glitter with, let me find that book and I will share that with you. I also use the um, Spectrum Noir. These are Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. They are brush tip. They do get messy. I will warn you on that. And I will share with you a page I use these on. This page, I used it on her tail, her little outfit right there, and on the water to add some extra sparkle. And I love how it turned out. So, And I will be doing a PDF book haul soon, so keep your eyes open for that one. The next thing I add a ton of detail to my pages with are... The Sparkle Pop pens, which are one of my favorites. I absolutely love them. They are color shifting. And I also use the Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallic pens as well. I don't know if I have a page with examples on it close by. Let me check through this one real quick. Mm. Yeah, here it is. I use the silver... Um, sparkle pop to add some detail so the next thing that I have that I add a lot of detail to pages with is this the CSY art gallery the 36 count these are one of my favorite sets of watercolors I absolutely love them they are 100% my favorite and I'll see if I can find a page that I did a fat girl with them in. Pretty sure it's in this one. I just don't know where in this one. Here we go. This is the one that I did the butterfly with and the CSY watercolors. That's why I say they're absolutely my favorite. I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. And the last thing that I use to add detail to pages that sparkle. These are my favorite pins. They are the ZS CM dual metallic pins and I absolutely love them. So they're just like the Sparkle Pop, but they are a more inexpensive version of the Sparkle Pop and you get way more colors. So I would recommend these. So I just want to say thank you everyone for stopping by to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.